Yo, this is CJ Deathmatch. I got good a game of Team Deathmatch on Fuel. Um, I'm using the Intervention with Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power, and Steady Aim. I just prestige recently. I can't tell if they don't have, like, multiple. Let's hope you'll tell later, probably. But yeah, I, I just prestiged, and this is. I had just unlocked Sleight of Hand Pro, like, a couple of of games ago, so I was kind of rusty with my sniping. Like, took a four. I was in DC for four days, so I hadn't played them. But it'd been about a week before I had sniped, basically. Probably more than that. A couple weeks, maybe, because I hadn't been sniping before I left. So, so I was rusty, but the, I, I guess I really don't get very many kills with my intervention. I think I get one kill with it, and the rest. The last one on like TP2000 or kill streaks or whatever I picked up off the ground. Okay, look at this. This is lag. Quick scope to the face. And two knives. And. Well, anyway, I do. I kind of have that lag the whole game, but that's probably the worst. Like, it's not so bad. Like, you can't really notice it watching the video, but I can kind of feel it play. And the gun's taking a little bit. TP2000, yeah, that's not the intervention. It's taking a little bit longer to, to get a kill and stuff like that. But this is a pretty good game, I think. 17 and 3, and I joined the game late. So that's always nice. So that was my first kill of the game with the TP2000. And I don't. I kind of just started going on a rampage with the TP2000, and I just thought, well, I'll keep using it. Not here, I guess, but I just. Like, well, I can't get a kill with the intervention. But I just started using the TP2K, which is. Probably the best machine pistol. The only thing is, I like the rapid guns just as the sidearm because you can pull them out faster, which is always, always nice. Here's the first time I pick up a gun, I guess. Oh, and I knife. I, I always get proud when I knife someone with um, a tactical setup. I actually kind of laughed in this game. One of the accolades I got was most knife kills with tactical setup on. Like, how often does that happen? So yeah, pick up a striker and another demonstration of my leg here. Look at this. Now oh, watch this click in. Okay. How did I not hit him once at all in that kill cam? How? If I hadn't had gotten if I hadn't gotten those two deaths, it would have been an insane game. It would have been 19 and 1. Well for those two deaths. There's a leg. Don't really know how that wasn't a double. It looks like a chain link fence saved his life from a missile. That's very realistic, this game is. So, <clears throat> here I believe I get my first and only intervention kill. Nice little drag scope, I guess. And right there, that looks like an B spot for someone getting like a no scope. And someone on their team was running copycat. He's doing, he copied my class like three times, I think, in one game. And earlier, the, like earlier the same day, I had gotten a, another person doing it. You have to make class twice. Like, I, you never, people never copy my class. Like, like, the other time I was using an M4A1, and someone copied my class, and really, I'm pretty sure that person had it unlocked. And same with this, like intervention, no attachment, PP2000, no attachment. They probably have that too. Hey, like, right. most likely, oh, get marker, yeah. Dude, like, um, I could see this time I didn't have FMJ, but you guys ever notice FMJ on this game does pretty much nothing on a sniper rifle? Like, it rarely does anything. Like, I had FMJ on, and I got a hit marker to the torso on someone, and because it went through two windows. Really? Two windows. That, that just doesn't sound like, see, my, it was a collateral hit marker, too, which kind of made me angry on high rise. So, I mean, they really, sh I really would like them to see that fixed, except I doubt they'll do it. Um, yeah. So, this game. Okay, um, normally I won't, I won't post a game where I get less than 20 kills, but considering this is a team deathmatch and I join the game late, plus I get a pretty good KD, even with some lag. So that's why I posted this. Um, I have two other games, I'm not sure if I'll post it, the KD is exactly two. There's a 24 and 12 domination on Trailer Park, rushing with the P90. Um, like, P90 extended regs. Kind of, part of the reason I don't want to post it is I just posted a game on Trailer Park. 
and two is like, I mean, it is just a 2KD, like, you, like, I won't post a game with less than 2KD unless there's like a particular purpose to the game, like, completely besides just being fun to watch or something like that. Yeah, but I mean, it's just a 2KD, nothing too special, it's really easy to get. And then another game, 22 and 11, but it's with a Spaz 12 on vacant, but it's not actually my game. Like, my friend was playing at my house, and we were gonna do a duo commentary on it, but for some reason he didn't want to do the commentary after I did it, after we recorded it. So I, don't know, it, I guess to use the AK and the Spaz 12, but like I don't know. I'm not gonna look this. Let's see. He was getting worried. There's one kill left in the game. They call in an AC-130, and I'm at the point I'm 16 and three, and I'm like, oh come on, guys, off skill. And my barrier finishes it off for me. So 17, 0, and three on TDM fuel. Oh, another reason I posted game with less than uh, 20 kills is fuel is the largest map in Call of Duty. Like, it's it's, it's huge. Like, getting 20 kills on it without a ton of air support is pretty difficult to get. And looks like the gameplay is wrapping up. And goodbye.